anything, if you say I've gotten rid of all these waste products and all of that, now how do I boost my vitality according to Ayurveda? Say I've gotten rid of all the junk food, I'm sleeping perfectly on time, like mm-hmm. everything that Ashton talks about in the Habit Coach, I'm doing. Now <laughs> what do I do from here onwards? And guys, I hope you're doing that, okay? Like this is not a joke, but like I hope you're doing it as well. Okay, let me give you an example. Mm-hmm. Uh, the best thing that I can tell you, I was just listening to... Uh, uh, one music with my normal earphones hmm. and then uh, there was a lot of noise from outside and uh, my friend uh, hmm. he had this Bose system hmm. Hmm. and he told me oh this is noise cancellation uh, hmm. and how much did you pay he said he paid close to like 500 dollars for that my god my hmm. thing cost less than 50 dollars and hmm. uh, his Bose thing cost like 500 dollars hmm. so what's the big deal with that hmm. and then uh, then he told me do you know the founder of this Bose company is actually an Indian Wow, I didn't know that. And then then I was just reading about it. And w- the story behind this is the Bose speakers is not about how good he can transmit the sound. It is mm. more about how he can stop the outside noise. Mm. Mm. So it's more like when he keeps that Bose sound uh, system, the noise mm. cancellation is the, all the outside noise is being canceled. Mm. So just by doing that, he realized he doesn't have to enhance the quality of the sound amplification. He has to focus more on external noise disturbance not to Mm. coming in. Mm. So when you ask, okay, I've decided to eliminate that. Now what Mm. to do for the vitality? Mm. When you eliminate that itself is like 99% victory. Mm. Now today that is the biggest challenge. Mm. Now the the rest 1% is about when you eliminate all the toxins, what is left is only that is healthy. Mm. So, and what is healthy, we will talk about that. Like we talk about in Ayurveda, we have this concept called ama. Hmm. Ama is anything that is sticky in nature. Hmm. Like, for example, for mother nature, a plastic hmm. is an ama because plastic takes a long time to blend with nature. Hmm. Uh, it, it completely uh, stops the cycle. Hmm. Okay, if you use uh, easy. Uh, biodegradable stuff it blends Mm. with the nature so it is not creating any harm Mm. so if you're eating something and that is not becoming a part of your body that is a potential ama okay now the more ama in your body it re it leads to a problem in ayurveda it is called as uh, sroto rodam it's it's, it's just a sanskrit word uh, Mm. but in english the appropriate word is atherosclerosis okay now, atherosclerosis means, uh, of course, you know, if you live in Mumbai, when you uh, take a, a drive at seven o'clock in the morning, mm-hmm. you are mm-hmm. freely flowing in the road. You know, there is yes. no traffic light. You just see the blinking yellow light, mm-hmm. but you can still move on. That is what is free uh, mm-hmm. channels. You know, mm-hmm. you can drive through that. But suddenly, if you go at 10.30 or 11 o'clock, mm-hmm. then two kilometers, you might need more than an hour to travel because Correct. everything is stopped. Mm. Now, that is what is called as atherosclerosis. There is a lot right. of blocks. Yes. So, the more blocks in our body, mm. that leads to a lot of anti-vitality stuff. Mm. So, anything that... En- and AMA is the biggest contributor of this atherosclerosis mm. or what we call it as blocks in the channels. So, can I uh, quickly jump in? So, yeah. uh, this primarily is blocks in the veins and arteries. Veins and there- arteries... Yes. Are there other also uh, aspects of our body that gets blocked? Of course, like constipation is the biggest block. Ah, okay. I mean, constipation uh, is the biggest block that uh, creates all this. Hmm. So whenever a person comes with, you know, like you see, one of my professors used to say, if a motorbike stops running, hmm. you don't remove the engine and check what went wrong. First thing you check is, does it have enough fuel? Correct. Okay. Second thing you check, how is the exhaustion pipe? Yes. So once these two are there, then you enter the other aspects. So that is why when you go to an Ayurvedic doctor, Hmm. he may forget to ask your name, what you do, where you come from. But one of the first things he will ask you is, did you go to toilet? Because that shows the sign of life and it is how the vitality starts with. So if your waste elimination is not proper, your vitality is also compromised. Correct. So that's the uh, rule behind that. Because actually... Traffic block means what? The flow is blocked. Mm. And waste elimination, when it is blocked, your energy flow is also blocked. Mm. So we have to look at it that way. So more AMA means your waste elimination is blocked. Mm. So the quality of a good AMA 
I mean, when I remember, quality of a good ama is it is very sticky in nature. Yeah. So all the stuff that are sticky in nature mm. are the cre- things that create uh, atherosclerosis and that impacts your vitality. Mm. Mm. Now, now people are, must be wondering, saying that what are things that are sticky in nature? Like, how would you define things that are sticky in nature? Is it stuff that we are consuming? Is it the way that we are? What causes that sticky nature? Okay, uh, sticky nature. Uh, Ashton, we did an episode in uh, in your podcast and also mm. in my podcast. We were talking about sugar. You know, mm. sugar is such a sticky stuff. I mean, mm. uh, if you uh, in ancient days, I still remember uh, mm. uh, when you don't have uh, glue to stick for your label for your notebooks. You know, mm. we sometimes put rice because rice yes. is a great adhesive. Correct. And same when you mix sugar with water, mm. what do you get? Okay, when I ask people in my uh, lectures. what do you get when you mix sugar and water and people say coca cola but it's actually glue you know when you mix so true. You, you don't have to be an organic chemist to understand this you know when no, you mix everything sugar, gets sticky you yeah, just have a boiled candy on your hands you exactly. sweat exactly and everything gets sticky right I mean, you look at this as children exactly i mean you look at all the sweet things yeah the physical uh, characteristics of a sweet product if it is in liquid form it will be sticky in nature mm. so the moment you put in something sticky the body has to invest lot more energy to eliminate and and it's interesting in ayurveda the mm. word for human body is called as sharira i mean mm. even in hindi we call sharir yeah right? sharir correct yeah. but in in sanskrit the word sharira if you take the etymology of the word sharira it says mm. that which dies every moment oh wow Okay, sharira means shiriyate anena iti shariram. That which keeps dying every moment. And if you rephrase it in a medical terminology, we would call it as that which keeps eliminating waste every moment. So, mm. uh, what is a living body and a dead body? Living mm. body is constantly eliminating waste. Mm. Dead body stops eliminating waste. Mm. I mean. how do you know if somebody is alive and somebody is dead you see that he is breathing if he is breathing that means he is eliminating carbon dioxide mm. if he is dead means he stopped eliminating waste correct so the more sticky stuff that goes inside your waste elimination of the waste eliminating efficiency of your body is compromised mm. so that is why uh, waste elimination is so important for a healthy life you know this immediately makes me remember it's like you said that you used to use rice to stick paper yeah, together exactly, right exactly. so that's that starch from that rice that is probably being used exactly another example is the reason why wheat is now becoming so bad is because of the quantity of gluten that has increased in it exactly i mean the word gluten because, glue then exactly <laughs> right gluten is by definition sticky because exactly. you know what we want that tender soft soft roti and exactly. that soft soft roti means that something has to be sticky in order exactly. for that to, that that roti to form like when you're making yeah. your atta itself you need to figure out how not to make it stick to the belan exactly. so that itself should give you a hint when something is sticky and when something is not exactly lovely I mean, are there any other examples that are non starchy non sugary non carbohydrate that are also falling under the sticky thing uh, see uh, i mean usually uh, if you look at the what are sticky and what are non sticky see we need a balance of both Yes, but today what has happened is the sticky food has gone over the roof in our diet. Correct, because that is more tasty, and we are hardwired to consume these things. And mm. these non-sticky stuff were so abundant before, but today mm. it is um, so much abundant than uh, non-sticky stuff. Correct. So uh, apart from sugar, apart from uh, what you call the gluten or maida or mm. starch. see other things are actually it's a chemical stuff mm. that is why today when you go to a mm. um, alternative healer or a somebody like uh, an ayurvedic doctor that is why we focus so much on eliminating diet mm. because once you eliminate all these unwanted things is just like cleaning the ganges you know once yeah. you eliminate the pollution the river is clean correct so these are the main things apart from that also all the chemical uh, i mean one one of the podcast that i heard about you we were talking about how the zero added sugar stuff comes yes. even that are sticky in nature yes so you will know it when you touch the food is, is it sticky and after you eat the food do you have to put lot of effort to clean the plate 
Uh, these are also some of the ways. I mean, if you have to invest a lot of detergent to wash the plate afterwards, can you imagine what's happening to your body? Exactly. I mean, I mean, our body because it is moist, it will handle it. Yeah. But yeah. because, but in the plate, it is getting dried up, so it's sticking. Correct. But still, the body has to put a lot of effort to maintain that so that it doesn't become sticky. So, like oils will also be part of this. Uh, refined oil. I mean, it depends on what kind of oil it is. Mm-hmm. See, there are. good fat and also mm. there are bad fat mm. now the bad fat is something that is sticky and good fat is that is non sticky mm. that's all we need to know see the best example for common listeners when you go to give your car or your motorbike for servicing i still remember during my college days when i go to give my bike for servicing i used to ask what is that oil and he would say that is the oil that was removed after your mm. service and okay. when you look at that oil mm. it looks uh, okay something is not right correct and when you they when they put the new oil it just helps for the lubrication so we need oil but the more stickier that oil the more damaging it for the engine the car feels different the bike exactly. feels different as soon exactly. as the oil change takes place exactly na no? it's fantastic how it works